they should slide right off. <laughs> I swear every time I brush them, they're like, coming off. I'm like, well, you're going to need to get some better glue. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually some of the kind I had bought it like when you shut down for COVID. Uh -huh, <laughs> like uh -huh. all that stuff I had then. Been going on with you, everything went good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just getting all this stuff organized and put it. It looks so nice when it's done. Here, yeah. Remodeling I, such a process. It <laughs> is. I had the jump teams come mm -hmm. and they they took out a whole bunch of stuff. Do they just take it away and they do whatever with it yeah. or that's cool. Yep. And you don't have to lift a Do they charge, like, what do they charge you to do it? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. It was like 500 mm -hmm. Hopefully they took a lot. Mm -hmm. to yeah, they charge you by the, um, by how much. So they basically it. pay to landfill it or whatever it is uh -huh. and they keep the difference. Yeah, yeah, it's all of that. And they, like, you don't have to move, you don't have to do anything all you do is tell them where it's at and they go get it see it's so convenient it though it <laughs> like the struggle is doing it moving yeah. it <laughs> it's worth it mm -hmm. it's definitely worth it yeah there's money and stuff like that mm -hmm. especially people that just can't do it if you're mm -hmm. like by yourself or something or you know have a handicap or something and you can't move stuff or you just don't want to mm -hmm. It's so worth it. Sorry if my hair is in your... Oh, no. You're okay. okay, honey. Yeah. Yeah, my box. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. You finish. <clears throat> no, once they came and got everything, uh -huh. you know, I'm like, oh, okay, so until I get all my other stuff in the places that I need it again, I, um, I'm just trying to, I'm like, where am I going to put this? Where am yeah. I going to put that? And so, so it's just like, oh, yeah. stuff is everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, where did I put that? <laughs> I'm one of the people that work better when everything is like uh, done or where it's supposed to be or, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yep, that's me. My OCD, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my boss told us this morning, though, that he basically sold the business. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I, I kind of expected it. I noticed a change in him. I've worked for him for almost 10 years. Um, I could just kind of see how he stopped ordering things for the, the store and stuff. So I kind of knew it was. Yeah. And then another girl was like, well, I've worked for him for 18 years. He's never not ordered stuff. Mm -hmm. So right then, that's kind of what gave me the heads up. And then I really started paying attention. But I don't work a lot anyway. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of like. I time feel, to go to school. Yeah, or do exactly. Time to go to beauty school. Exactly. Time yes. to do something. And that's what he said. You know, he's a very Catholic, uh, mm -hmm. you know, man. And he's a, a man of faith. So he's like, I feel like all of you will, you know. He's like, you know, when you get in the groove of something, you're just stuck doing that. Mm -hmm. He's like, but this is an opportunity for you guys. So he's like, there's so many jobs out there that pay you a lot better than I pay you. I mean, I was making sixteen dollars an hour. Sixteen. Yeah. Uh huh. And um, but the thing is, even though I didn't work a lot, if I was there Monday through Friday, he paid us for thirty hours a week. Uh huh. You know, so it was just convenient. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know, it was funny though. I was trying to toss around how I was going to take the time off to get my tummy tucked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not worry about, about it. it. <laughs> right. And then I was just talking to Evan, and Evan's like, "You guys literally own ten properties. <laughs> like, what are you? Start a LLC. Start a property management company." He's like, "You're smart. You know how to do QuickBooks and all that. Do all your own." 
financial stuff, you know, he was like, he's like, you don't even need to, he's like, you guys can run with what you got and keep, buy more properties and I just feel like I want something on my own, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I completely understand. Like years ago, before like hair <sighs> extensions were everywhere, mm -hmm. that's, I wanted to get into doing that, like, mm -hmm. uh, like selling hair. Okay. Just because I felt like it was so hard to find good quality hair, hair uh -huh. extensions. But, you know, it takes a lot of money to <laughs> buy all that kind of stuff. I definitely didn't have it then. Yeah. Or I wouldn't even have knew where to start. I just always <laughs> had it in my head like that would be a good thing to do. Mm-hmm. So what do you think now? Where's your heart at? Mm -hmm. I honestly don't even know. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. I really need to think about it. I don't think like, I'm always one of the people I can go work, get a job and work mm -hmm. 10 hours a day. You know, it, that's not never bothered me. You're doing hard physical work. I've done that a long time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I don't see my boyfriend wanting me to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think every time I've brought up like Chewy or, you know, factory job or anything like that, he's like, that's just a big word. You're like, he just always says stuff. Like, I right. think in his mind, it's like, there's guys there. Nope. Right. <laughs> you know? right. So, and then in his mind too, he's got money. So he's probably like, it's probably like the same thing I do every time he says I should get a like talking about himself like I should mm -hmm. get a job and I'm like yeah okay you know mm -hmm. it's probably like the same thing he thinks like okay whatever but I don't really have my hand out to him you know what I'm saying like yeah. I don't say hey give me give me money for this give me money for that unless like we're out together and he you know he buys me something or we go get food or go in the store to you know get stuff for the house but I don't say hey I'm going to get my lashes done give me lash money yeah yeah I always try to use my own money for stuff. Hmm. Well, I am looking for a, like, office manager. Are you? Office manager, <laughs> receptionist, like, uh, assistant, you know, to do stuff like answer calls. Um, you know, uh, book appointments, um, help me organize stuff, help me input uh, inventory and um, manage the inventory, manage orders, you mm -hmm. know, um, manage the website, manage, <laughs> you so know. So right now it's just you and Maya. I always forget her name. I always <clears throat> yeah. Forget her but Maya, name. Maya doesn't do anything. Anything like that? Uh -uh. Okay. She doesn't do anything. It's me doing all the behind the okay. scenes, everything. So keeping the inventory managed, all that stuff. And it kind of falls between the cracks because I haven't, you know, I'll start doing it. And mm -hmm. then I'm like, oh shit, I got a client. Like I try to do stuff in between clients. And if I come on my day off, I can only get so much done. You know, mm -hmm. I know that I need help. Right. So, you know, I'm definitely looking for um, somebody like that. And I think, too, like, um, it's important to me that the person is a self-starter and they can mm -hmm. suggest things for me when they see things mm -hmm. you know it's like hey lisa had you thought about doing it like this or right. had you thought about doing it like that like understanding the way that i do things <clears throat> right. and then doing it and then saying okay so have you thought about you know doing it this way to find more efficient ways mm -hmm. you know um because i know that i just i know that i can't do it by myself right. Right. you know and um so i had a girl that used to help me and um she would she would just come in and work like um a couple of days uh she'd work a couple of hours a week because she mm -hmm. had like three kids right and you know i gave her <clears throat> she got a discount off on her um 
a discount off on her lashes mm -hmm. and then um i paid her i was doing like 15 dollars an hour that's good though I mean, um, that's good. and the other thing is i i was i had a new person that was going to do marketing only mm -hmm. and they were gonna make commission off of any any marketing that they sold so like when i do training classes mm -hmm. i have marketing that i send out but i also have to call salons and let them know about the marketing so anybody that you book from there you make a commission off of the total amount okay of the class so typically my classes are like anywhere from three to thirty three hundred dollars okay right yeah and so any anyone who um leaves a deposit or confirms a class like there's a commission off of that so there's a lot of different ways to make commission if somebody rebooks mm -hmm. you know um now the way that we do booking is um people call in so let's say you know you're here you're answering the phone and somebody calls in they want to book lash extension mm -hmm. you have to know everything about the lash extension services mm -hmm. like all the different services we offer um how to direct them to the right service mm -hmm. um you book them and everything like that and so you would make a commission off of that booking well you know i used to work at bellasio like that's oh, what i really? did yeah oh, out shit. in cross point you know that's what? what i, I did. forgot you did tell I me did. that i did i worked for oh, him for about two gosh. and a half years he was a dick <laughs> the guy that owned that uh -huh. he i don't know where he was from older uh -huh. white guy i think uh -huh. he was from somewhere across the world uh -huh. but he was just the biggest dick to uh -huh. people so i'm not surprised he went out of business but yeah that's what i did for him i was a receptionist for him oh, so wow. yeah except there it was like woo because there were so many stylists uh -huh. like i had to know every service like uh -huh. they carried all the orbe products uh -huh. so uh -huh. um and made like they sold all like top end products so uh -huh. i would have to keep like do inventory yeah oh um, everything that i'm talking everything about you're right saying. now and it just clicked like duh you used to do <laughs> did you like it <laughs> yeah I except did. for who you were working for i'm a for. people person okay i'm a, uh, you know how i am i could talk to anybody uh -huh. i get along with everybody you know, that's what my boss said to me today, too. He said, you know, I tell, like, he took each of us in his office. It was one of the hardest things to watch him have to say that because his dad started that business. Oh, wow. So, like, uh -huh. you know, and it's Hyder, it's a family company. So, uh -huh. I just, it was so hard watching him, uh -huh. like, choke up the whole time and try not to cry. Uh -huh. And yeah, so I know he was dreading that. But uh -huh. he basically said, um, you know, I tell you this all the time. I've been telling you this for the 10 years you've worked for me. Um, you are the example employee. He said, mm -hmm. I know what to expect out of you day in and day out. You're always in a great mood. You know, you get along mm -hmm. with everybody. That's you so listen. Important. You don't try to run or control anything. Mm -hmm. You know, he's like, you've just been an absolute pleasure to work with. Mm -hmm. He's like, and I've been to, and he has, he's told me that for years. But I actually got worked at Bellasio as a part-time job to mm -hmm. that. So I had done that. I think it's been maybe five years now that I haven't been there. Mm -hmm. That they shut down. And that's what's so important is that, you know, uh, you know, my personality, like, I want peace. Mm -hmm. I don't want to come in and mm -hmm. it's like, oh, this person is always in a bad mood. Or I've worked jobs always, like oh that where people bring that into work and it's like, nobody wants to. No. <laughs> Everybody has bad days and, yeah, yeah. you talk about it, but, mm -hmm. yeah, to drag it into work or be, like, there was this girl at my job now and it's like, anytime anything would go home, at, at, go on at home, she would come in and be just treat everybody else like crap mm -hmm. you know and it's mm -hmm. like come on nobody else in here done nothing to right. you you nobody know wants to deal with right mm -hmm. yeah so yeah well that's what i'm looking for so i'm putting the offer out there for you yeah i mean i would definitely be interested because okay. it's all stuff i love mm -hmm. <laughs> well you let me know when you can start like uh so what hours are you whatever hours you are <laughs> available so right now, um, cause I, you gotta look at m as far as from me, I'm not somebody like, it's not like I have to work. I don't yes. have no money. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I'm open to what you're comfortable with. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm very, I'm very flexible. And so what I could even see is like, there's times when, um, 
like for instance, you could be here on a day that I, I'm not open mm -hmm. and you could have the business phone and answer calls and do inventory. Okay. Because see, our people, we kind of manage our own clients mm -hmm. as far as when they come in. Right. Right? So when you come in, each technician takes and manages their own client. The thing that I have um, trouble with is sometimes um, answering the phone when I'm here working. Like okay. I send all that shit to voicemail. Right. <laughs> I know I'm missing a lot of business. I could probably book a lot more mm -hmm. people. But it's hard to do. But I it's mean, hard for me to manage. Yeah. So I'm like, I send it to voicemail. I'm like, I have on my voicemail, please text. But if somebody was here and able to answer the phone, I know we could get more bookings. Mm -hmm. We don't book appointments without credit cards or without, you know, the right. the voucher or whatever. So, you know, having having um you be able to do that, that would help a yeah. lot. Like I'm one of them people that I learn by like demonstration or you showing me. So uh -huh. if you show me how to do something uh -huh. or you teach me how you do it, I Mm -hmm. I just catch all the yep. stuff. Yep. And I'm very good, like, with numbers, too. Uh -huh. Like, when it comes to, like, math and numbers mm -hmm. and, like, money and that type of stuff, I've always been, math's always what I've been best at. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's I, so cool. <laughs> yeah, I have a, um, so, so, uh, answering the phone, booking appointments, um, doing the inventory, uh, getting all that stuff upstairs together now the product lines that i use i have mm -hmm. three i use the bio elements for skincare mm -hmm. i use my own brand for lashes and that's what we do most of so all my products are upstairs i have a website with all that i sell my lash products on um and then like even putting orders together like if somebody orders something like you're able to put that order together mm -hmm. and take it to the uh or call set up ups mm -hmm. and do it so it's like okay i'm gonna go take it but if you're mm -hmm. like hey lisa we could set it up to do such and such mm -hmm. then i'm like okay let's set i had it up. a job i don't know if you ever heard of it it's called look at a book uh -huh. um and you'll see like drop boxes throughout the city and it's like people can donate but i worked for his name's chip mm -hmm. william chip uh so he used to be, he, he moved far out. He moved his business like way out of the way and it was just too much of a drive and Evan's like, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, plus I don't think he liked some of the people he had, you know, younger guys, you know, mm -hmm. Evan was 20 years old or so. I was just like, okay, whatever. And then that's when I ended up going to Hyder. Mm -hmm. um, but he would, he started, him and his wife started this business in their garage. They started buying like boxes of used books wherever they could find them. And they bought like a software program where they could scan it, see how much the book cost and mm -hmm. inventory it. And then people coming along on Amazon that like typed a book name in, uh -huh. all these different sellers would pop up and he would be one of them uh -huh. or eBay. So, like, I ended up, he ended up blowing up so big that he moved into a warehouse, and he was renting a real nice warehouse, and um, he would get books by, like, the truck loads, uh -huh. like, semi-loads, and I had to ship everything out for oh, him. Like, wow. I did all of his shipping, but it was actually a pretty cool, co like, business concept, uh -huh. and then it started in his garage. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I always loved, like... You know how I am. I love anything beauty mm -hmm. <laughs> related. I've always been into it, you know, so. Oh, yeah. And, like, I, when the whole COVID thing hit, mm -hmm. I was determined I was going to learn how to do <laughs> lashes mm -hmm. and, you know, figure it out. And so I, I, I know my way around them. I'm just, I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if you taught me, I would definitely know everything. Yeah, absolutely. Like the different sets mm -hmm. that you could talk about. And the thing about it is I have scripts for mm -hmm. my girls to use. So okay. what I do is, you know, I make a script and that's how I train my girls okay. and they don't, they, um, they're able to, I have it written down so you can look it over mm -hmm. And like, as far as talking to clients about services, there you don't you you don't have to go into deep detail. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, they just want to know what's yes. the difference in the services. Okay. okay, if your lashes are 
nice and full and you want a natural look, you could go with the classic or the volume. This is how much they are. This is the difference. Mm -hmm. um, and or if you want a super full look, you could go with the mega volume. Mm -hmm. But because this is the first time of you having lash extensions, let's just go ahead and we can book you for the classic lashes. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a really natural look. Um, and uh, if for some reason you want them fuller, you can talk to your technician mm -hmm. and then we can, you know, get you the fuller lashes. It's gonna be an additional X amount of dollars mm -hmm. if you do it then. But right now, you know, we're gonna go ahead and, and get you set up for that, okay. you know. Um, and it's like, oh, okay, you just want to close the deal, right? Yeah. You just want to yeah. close the deal. So Get them in. <laughs> right. Typically, it's like, book them for the cheapest service, and then it's up to us to upgrade them. Okay. Um, and um, then that way, okay, so the full set of lashes is 201, so you would make a percentage off of that 201, 5% to 10%, right? of the 201 because you're going to book the appointment then take the mm -hmm. credit card information over the phone they're going to get you're going to enter all their information in mm -hmm. the system their email their address their this or that and then they're going to get a confirmation email and then um so let's say they have a, a ton of more questions say mm -hmm. oh my god you know um i see you have a lot of questions and what they do first is you're going to sit down with your technician and mm -hmm. she's going to do a detailed consultation with you okay. she's going to be able to answer every single solitary question um <clears throat> just make sure you have everything that you want to know and everybody is very um very um knowledgeable they take extensive training it's just a matter of comforting the client mm -hmm. you know making her feel comfortable about coming here you can also take a second to look at their google review at our at our mm -hmm. see it needs to be our business right you could take a you can take a look at our Google reviews, right. at our Yelp reviews, at our Facebook page. We're on Instagram, right? And be able to give them all those mm -hmm. addresses of where they need to look so they feel comfortable. But okay. you know, so that's that's a way. Okay. Um, yeah, the goal is definitely to get people booked. Okay. Yeah. So you do the fifteen plus you do? like office services and stuff is that what you're saying as far as like for booking you pay people for booking stuff too yeah i would oh i didn't yeah i would <laughs> i would do 15 dollars an hour oh, I would have expected uh -huh. and then when you book when you book uh -huh. appointments or when you book um you book uh what do you call it mm -hmm. classes then you make money off of that as well because like just experience or well you know i've only worked at one salon uh -huh. but like it was just like that's it $15 that's it yeah no one fifteen dollars it was mm -hmm. like 12 bucks or something like that mm -hmm. but yeah yeah so yeah it would be um you know five to ten percent more for booking the appointment for confirming it because that's that's like making our dollars mm -hmm. you know go up mm -hmm. so yeah, and you know, it's crazy too, like working at that salon because there were so many stylists. There mm -hmm. was a spa there, um, nails, you know, it had so many aspects mm -hmm. and like just the training alone, like, because you had to know as a receptionist, if somebody wants this service done, if they want color, they want to cut, like mm -hmm. you had to know the right amount of time to book them for. Right. Because if you didn't book them right, then them stylists would, you know, basically you must their schedule up. They could be making more money. You know, yeah. it was a big deal. Well, my all my services, they have the book times in there automatically. Okay. Cleanup cool. time is in there, everything. That's so nice. all you have to do is book the right service okay. so you're going to be booking a full set or you're going to book a mani pedi or you're going to book a facial or you're going to book you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's already in there you just have to know what everything is called okay and so there everything is in the system like if you go online or i have you know the services you could go to the booking site and you can study each service and see you know yeah. how long it takes and what's included in it and ask me okay. you know about it and stuff like that so yeah, yeah everything is already in the system
Sounds nice. Yeah, I have some things put in place. I have some things that are still kind of fucked up, but <laughs> hey, you know, everything's a learning. Process, I know how you know? I know how stuff works, but sometimes it's like, yeah, know, that's not I clear, gotcha. Lisa. You know, <laughs> I'm like, okay, so help me understand how I need to make this better. <laughs> so, what time do you usually get here? Um, so I work. Uh, I'm normally here an hour to 30 minutes prior to my first client. Okay. Um, and I work, uh, what days do I work? What's today? Friday. Mm -hmm. So I work Friday. I'm off Saturday. I work Sunday, Monday. I'm off Tuesday. I work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm off on Saturdays and on Tuesdays. Okay. And let's see. On Tuesdays, yeah, Maya's not here. Okay, so Maya, she works the weekend, so mm -hmm. Thursday through Sunday. She works Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds mm -hmm. nice. Thank you. <laughs> uh huh. And then, like I said, you can. Um, I feel like it would be a good fit for me. Uh huh. I just mm -hmm. I feel like we click, and yeah. I get your concept with stuff, and yeah. I like the place I like mm -hmm. you know I like the environment mm -hmm. and I've been you know so I had this one guy I'm all about reliability yes. right I need you yeah. to be reliable mm -hmm. and I need you to communicate with me if Period. you don't communicate <laughs> with me then I'm kind of like okay something's yeah. not right but yeah. I had this one guy who was gonna work and do the marketing and He's like, uh, it was before COVID. No, it was election time. And mm -hmm. he's like, I, I have to do this election thing and then I'll be ready. I'm like, okay. And it wasn't like I was asking him to do it for free. I was paying him. And um, he never contacted me back and he never, you know, communicated with me that something was going on. I called and checked him. I said, yeah, hey, how's know. everything going? You know, I just wanted to check on you. You know, I heard that you were ill and da 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 whatever and he's like oh yeah he's like i'm good but he didn't he didn't message me back for a couple of days and i'm just like i mean i know you get busy but you know yeah. if you're supposed to be doing a job for me then i need to be a priority yeah. to respond to right yeah especially so, as a job yeah. i mean hello yeah. <laughs> so yeah that didn't work that didn't work out so as far as the marketing mm -hmm. aspects what do you like what's been what do you do it's like what uh right now like? i have a special on groupon for lash lifts mm -hmm. and i had one for facial for facials but i took it off because of covid mm -hmm. and um so yeah right now i just use uh the groupon i have fa i do facebook ads um and really that's it mm -hmm. you know facebook instagram ads so when you say like you want somebody to do the marketing what would that like just make your post for you or well for him what like, he was what, yeah what was his yeah what he was gonna do is um do more of the calling to set up classes and trainings gotcha. for me so like calling salons introducing them to beauty box you know what we would do is we would sit down um, we didn't do this, but my idea was for us to sit down and kind of figure out how to find salons that maybe don't offer lash extensions mm -hmm. um, or salons that offer lash extensions and they need a local product mm -hmm. to use to be able to purchase mm -hmm. um, or they need a way to train their people how to add the lash service to their um, to their uh, service menu. Because mm -hmm. there's still some salons that don't even offer lash extensions, you know? <laughs> and to be able to show them the benefits of adding yeah. that to their, to their service menu. So many people want it, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I'm gonna tell you too, just like using off-brand products, mm -hmm. like, she only got so many done and then I ended up burning my eyes trying mm -hmm. <laughs> like she got irritated with it 
I felt like she was doing good, but I felt like she probably did better than what I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the ones I did, but the products, nothing like what you're using. Mm -hmm. Nothing. It's mm -hmm. like just the look, everything mm -hmm. is just not what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, um... I think she thought she was trying to make me feel better. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so... I was trying to, like... I'm like, eh, If yeah. I don't like them, I could just take them off, you know? Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. But after the experience I had where I almost put my eye out, oh, it, it wasn't that bad. Right. <laughs> it didn't hurt that bad. Right. But I didn't use it like I had two different kinds of glue but mm -hmm. one looked like it had broke down <laughs> like you know where I don't know where it like looked watery like black was coming out but then it looked watery mm -hmm. so like but that was the sensitive one so I just shook it up real good I'm like why am I even <laughs> doing this like just take them off wear some strips do you go get them done okay <laughs> Yes. I have a whole drawer of strips I could have just slapped a pair on. I don't know. I don't know. It don't make sense, but... And she done her friends, too, so... I just, for me, they're not, like, thick enough. Like, I would never tell her that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, like, I mean, but I feel like for a kid, I mean, for a teenager, you know, it's pretty, I would it's say it's okay. Good. Yeah. Uh -huh. She's got a really steady hand and she draws too. That's what she does at Stiver. She paints, draws, she does art and she does violin. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah. So, so she's, she's yeah, she's artistic. She's naturally good with her hands. Um, she can build things. I, she play the piano. She's just, I don't know. <laughs> she's just always been like that. Definitely want to tap into that while she's young. Yeah. It really helps her. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, I sometimes with her, though, it's like she she gets every week. It's like she comes, hey, mom, guess what? You know? Mm -hmm. So it's like you never know what she's super serious about or what she's mm -hmm. not. I did feel like my eyelashes grew back a lot, though. Oh, that's good. Remember when I, like, plucked them off? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, when I was looking up close in the magnifying mirror, I could mm -hmm. see where they were all, all back. Off. Yeah, uh -huh. all there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was expecting to not have so many. <laughs> So when people like go online, like when I initially got the number to make initial appointment, does mm -hmm. it ring in the actual, or is it to your phone? Like how does how's that set up? Oh, I like I've used my business. Uh, I've had a wireless number mm -hmm. for like the past uh, eleven years. Like okay. I've only had that number. I did have a landline, but I only got a landline so I could get like. Um, cable yeah um, yeah but what i realized is that just ran even more random people were calling the <laughs> landline oh yeah so that's a hassle in itself yeah i just um i just disconnected it and i just still have my my wireless phone but okay. i the thing about that is i could um message um 